up on Villa Man Creek today. It's the upper part of the Kinnikinick watershed. It's at a recently completed project where uh, the cement line channel has been replaced with a more natural stream. And it's part of a very large project uh, for the expansion of the interstate uh, I-94 from the Illinois state border up to Milwaukee. I have with me today Bill and Carla from the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Bill, could you give a little history of the project and what's uh, special about it? Sure. Uh, this project was started in approximately 2005 with the study of uh, reconstructing the interstate, as you said, Interstate 94, from Illinois through the Mitchell Interchange here in Milwaukee. It encompasses the freeway through three counties, Kenosha County, Racine County, and Milwaukee County. Uh, again, it's 35 miles long. Uh, approximate cost is $1.9 billion. Uh, what we will do is we will add an additional lane in each direction, the whole quarter length, and as part of that, we are also reconstructing 17 interchanges, as well as a system interchange, which is an interchange where two freeways come together. And that, that you can hear it in the background, the, the freeway noise, that is the Mitchell interchange. We have approximately over 200,000 vehicles a day utilize that interchange. And one of the unique features of this project is, it is both a rural and an urban freeway reconstruction project. And included with that is what you see here, uh, the Villaman Creek restoration. This was an urban channel, a concrete line channel, as well as some rural areas. And it, with help from Carla and, and our design team, uh, we have done what you see here, the realignment and reconstruction of a street. What are some of the uh, considerations of the site, Carla, that you had to do with this particular location? Well, what's unusual about this particular stream relocation is that we don't usually work in live channel. Typically what we do is we go off alignment and new, do reconstruct a new channel. In this instance, we worked with all of, we worked with Sewer Pack, was Tom Slavsky, and we work with the consultant who does the design, and then of course the DNR. And we all work together, <clears throat> excuse me, on our different components. Here we have, we not only took out all of the um, concrete on a section of the channel, but in addition to that, we were able to do another section of, of natural meandering, and then we created a lot of floodplain and from that, we're able to work with regulatory compliance and get some wetland mitigation credits. So within the floodplain, we have a wet meadow and then we also have like an upland prairie buffer. And what that is critical for is this helps with dealing with flood issues in the community, especially in an urban area. And it also provides a lot of habitat for critters and it's more natural than it was before. You did that all within some pretty narrow constraints still uh, for the existing residential areas on the side too. Yes, yeah. and we, we tried to maximize as much acquisition as we could to create floodplain, but as you can see in this area, we are pretty constrained. All right, well, let's go take a closer look.